Hi guys. It has been so long. It's been, I want to say probably a year. It's been a year since I uploaded on YouTube. Yeah, so much has happened in the past year. And if you've been following me on Instagram or any social media, then you kind of have an idea of everything that has gone on this past year. One of which is that I am pregnant. I am almost seven months. I'll be seven months next week. So, and I'm having a girl. I'm super excited. Uh, the reason I'm uploading today, sorry if I'm out of breath. It's one of the beauties of pregnancy. The reason I'm uploading this video today is because I have actually been searching everywhere on the internet for any type of information on pregnancy after a tummy tuck because I had a tummy tuck three years ago and really found nothing. Like there's nothing out there that kind of helped with information. Um, I did find maybe a handful of girls who have uploaded their journey, which I found extremely helpful. I've hashtagged on Instagram to see if anybody has posted, you know, photos or experiences or anything like that. It's been difficult to find any information at all. And on Instagram, I have gotten a couple of people reach out to me and ask me how my experience has been so far. And so far, it has been, it's been good. It's been, um, I haven't had any issues, you know, besides the whole pandemic situation. That's been an experience. Um, I would say that the worst, the worst would be my doctor's appointment. I have to call when I get there and they call me back when my room is ready and I just go directly up to my room and nobody is allowed to be with me. So sadly, my boyfriend has not been to any doctor's appointments or ultrasounds, which is so sad to me. But it's just, you know, one of the things that we have to do. I'm being pregnant right now is just so crazy. At the same time, I feel like I'm not missing anything because everybody's on lockdown with me, so by the time i think by the time we get out of this thing um i won't be pregnant anymore so i will have spent my entire pregnancy for the most part at home so that's pretty interesting i guess different for sure but again so the reason i did up i am uploading this is just to kind of give a little bit of information on my journey as far as being pregnant after a tummy tuck i am 27 weeks so i will be 28 weeks next week Actually, I'll be 27 weeks in two days. But next week, I'll be 28 weeks, so I will be seven months. So I am about to be seven months pregnant. So I am really upset that I didn't do this from the beginning so you guys can see, like, the journey of, you know, the changes that my body has gone through, which have honestly haven't been much. I have lost a lot of weight during this pregnancy. I want to say I've probably lost about 15 pounds everywhere else you know not obviously not my stomach my stomach is growing now finally but as far as like my face my arms you know my legs my legs are completely like con i used to have really big legs and even my butt my butt has shrank a little bit which is insane because it's already so big but i have had three bbls i've had two um breast augmentations and my tummy tuck so if you want a little more information on that, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about them, let me know in the comments as far as like where I went and all that good stuff. But this is more so for my tummy tuck and my stomach during pregnancy with a tummy tuck. I just barely started to show now at seven months. I went my entire beginning of my pregnancy not looking pregnant at all. Like nobody could tell. Even now people are like, what? You're like seven months? Like there's no way. So I will say that the muscle repair that you get during a tummy tuck does keep your stomach very, very tight. Um, there's not a lot of room to grow. I do have a lot of trouble breathing. Breathing is definitely a challenge for me because it's so tight in there that the baby is pushing up on my diaphragm as far as well as all my other organs. So I'm just constantly struggling for air. <laughs> Moved into a, a two bedroom apartment, so I no longer have stairs, so I'm not like, dying going up and down the stairs it's small so i mean i don't do much i don't have to go anywhere but like even going on little walks with my dogs or like when my daughter's playing outside i'm like dying so that's always fun if i've had a long day or if i have gone on a walk i tend to like start to hunch over kind of like i did when i first got my tummy tuck done it just feels like it's gonna rip not even that it's gonna rip open that's how it felt when i got the tummy tuck but now it's just like I feel so swollen and so tired that like my body just naturally starts to like hunch over because I don't want to stand up straight because I'm stretching my skin and it kind of hurts. 
my muscles are still very much sewn together so i was a little concerned with you know needing a like a retouch afterwards but my doctor said that my tummy tuck was done very well and that it should withstand the pregnancy he, he's he said it's very rare when one needs um, a touch up after pregnancy so I mean unless you're having multiples or gain like an insane amount of weight then a retouch isn't always necessary some people actually like the results better after a tummy tuck which is a little comforting but I'm not sure I guess you know everybody grows towards the end so I don't know what my eighth or ninth month will bring so we will see I still I don't have any new stretch marks I still have stretch marks from my previous that weren't able to be cut off with the with the tummy tuck I did have two pounds of skin removed and even with those two pounds of skin I still have stretch marks so that just goes to show I don't have any unfortunately before pictures of before my tummy tuck but my stretch marks were bad like bad bad so I still have some they're not really noticeable they're super super light but I have been overly moisturizing with um, Honest. I really love the Honest brand. Their bump butter and their glow oil. So I make like a little concoction in my hand. I rub it on my stomach when I get out of the shower and before I go to bed. So I'm extremely moisturizing because I really do not want any new stretch marks. Which, thank God, knock on wood, that I don't get any new ones. I will put my Instagram somewhere in here. So if you kind of want to go on there and see what I look like before. And I think I started posting photos of my stomach from like four months on. So if you want to see like gradually the changes that I went through, then you can go on there and look. But as of now, I will start uploading from here on out and I will do postpartum as well. So you guys can see, you know, how my my snapback game is. I'm hoping from what I've seen in other videos, girls like literally as soon as they give birth, they're like. <sighs> so I'm hoping that it's the same for me. Everybody's different. So we will see how that goes. I'm struggling for her. I will show you my stomach now. So this is seven months she is not very big very tight but not very big at all so if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i will try to answer them all in the next one and i will see you guys then.